Hi my dear students welcome back to my channel based on the changed examination pattern for SSLC 2021 I have started posting multiple choice question videos in my channel for various subjects already I have posted two videos for first language Canada and one video for SSLC science I keep on posting the various subjects multiple choice question in my channel I request all my dear students to kindly watch these videos and don't forget to share with your friends. In today's video, let us look at the multiple choice question from the lesson metals and non-metals. And the first question is, if the metal is found in the free state in nature, it is called as. It is called as its native state. If metal is found in its free state, we call it as its native state. And the correct answer is option A. Question number two. The element found in the free state in nature is options are copper, gold, silver and all these and the correct option is option D. Question number 3. Metals are extracted from option A compounds, option B minerals, option C ores, option D both minerals and ores and the correct answer is option C. Question number 4. Calcination is option A Heating the ore in the limited supply of air, heating the ore in the excess of air, option C cooling the ore and option D is none of these. And the correct option is heating the ore in the limited supply of air. Question number 5. Uranium is option A alkali metal, option B non-metal, option C radioactive element and option D is gas. And the correct answer is option C radioactive element. Question number 6. Non-metals are Option A. Electro-positive elements Option B. Electrostatic elements Option C. Electro-negative elements And Option D. Always found in the liquid state And the correct answer is Non-metals are electro-negative elements if they, have, if they ask for the metals You have to write they are electro-positive And the question number 7 is Non-metals form Option A, basic oxides. Option B, unstable hydrides. Option C, covalent volatile halides. Option D, gases on heating. And the correct answer is option C, covalent volatile halide. Question number 8 is, which of the following is an alloy? And the first option is steel. Option B, option A, steel. Option B, bronze. Option C, brass. Option D, all these. And the correct answer is all the above. Steel, bronze, brass, all these are alloys. Question number 9. The, the atomic number of an element A is 19. The number of electrons in its ion A plus will be, they are asking. E question salpanimge tricky ans bodu. See here, A plus andre, A plus ion contains one less electron than A. Andre 19 idre, pandu element one do electron less sagate. So the answer will be 18. I repeat once again the atomic number of an element A is 19. So A plus andre one do electron another lose mark So 19 andre 18 agate. And the question number 10 is number, the atomic number of an element B is 17. The number of electrons in its ion B will be. So in its electron B andre complete shell agate. So it will be added by one electron. So, 17 it will become 18. And the next question is, the element whose oxides can turn phenolphthalein solution pink are? And the options are sodium, potassium, potassium, carbon, sodium, sulfur, potassium, phosphorus. And the correct answer is sodium and potassium because they are highly reactive. Okay. Now, the question number 12 is, which of the following pairs will give displacement reactions. Option A, sodium chloride solution and copper metal. Option B, magnesium chloride solution and aluminium metal. Option C, option C, iron sulfate solution and silver metal. Option D, silver nitrate solution and copper metal. And the correct answer is silver nitrate and, and, the, correct, and the correct answer is silver nitrate solution and copper metal. Because silver nitrate solution and copper will undergo displacement reaction. Question number 13. Which of the following methods is suitable for preventing an iron frying pan from rusting? So rusting the avoid mode, which method you have to follow? 
ऑप्शन ए अप्लाइंग ग्रीस ऑप्शन बी अप्लाइंग पेंट ऑप्शन सी अप्लाइंग अ कोट ऑफ जिंक एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबो हियर टू प्रिवेंट रस्टिंग वी आर फॉलोइंग अप्लाइंग अ कोट ऑफ जिंक एंड दिस मेथड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज गैल्वनाइजेशन नंबर फोर्टीन एन एलिमेंट रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन टू गिव अ कंपाउंड विद अ हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट दिस कंपाउंड इज ऑल्सो सॉल्यूबल इन वॉटर द एलिमेंट इज लाइकली टू बी एंड द ऑप्शन आर कैल्शियम ऑप्शन बी कार्बन ऑप्शन सी सिलिकॉन एंड ऑप्शन डी आयरन एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए कैल्शियम बिकॉज कैल्शियम रिएक्ट विद बिकॉज कैल्शियम रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन टू गिव अ कॉम्पाउंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड ओके एंड इट इज हैविंग हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड दिस कॉम्पाउंड इज ऑल्सो सॉल्यूबल इन वॉटर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन फूड कैंस आर कोटेड विद द टिन एंड नॉट विद द जिंक बिकॉज ऑप्शन आर जिंक इज कॉस्टलियर दैन टिन ऑप्शन बी जिंक हैज हायर मेल्टिंग पॉइंट दैन टिन ऑप्शन सी जिंक इज मोर रिएक्टिव दैन टिन ऑप्शन डी जिंक इज लेस रिएक्टिव दैन टिन फूड कैंस आर कोटेड विद द टिन नॉट विद द जिंक इट इज बिकॉज जिंक इज मोर रिएक्टिव दैन टिन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन मैलेबिलिटी इज एग्जिबिटेड बाय क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन मैलेबिलिटी इज एग्जिबिटेड बाय एंड ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए सल्फर ऑप्शन बी आयोडीन ऑप्शन सी फॉस्फरस ऑप्शन डी कॉपर एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज कॉपर मैलेबिलिटी मीन्स इट्स अ फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल इट डिफाइन्स द एबिलिटी टू बी हैमर्ड दैट मीन्स इट कैन बी बीटन इन टू थिन शीट्स ओके दैट प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड एज मैलेबिलिटी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेटल विल रिलीज हाइड्रोजन गैस ऑन रिएक्शन विद कोल्ड वाटर एट रूम टेम्परेचर ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए सिल्वर ऑप्शन बी एल्यूमिनियम ऑप्शन सी कॉपर ऑप्शन डी सोडियम एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सोडियम बिकॉज सोडियम इज अ मेटल इट रिलीजेस हाइड्रोजन गैस वेन इट इज ड्रॉप्ड इन टू द कोल्ड वॉटर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन इन केस ऑफ बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन बिटवीन सोडियम एंड क्लोरिन द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम options are option a sodium to chlorine option b chlorine to sodium option c both a and b option d none of these and the correct option is option a sodium to chlorine question number 19 the earthy or undesired materials associated with an ore are called option a gang option b mineral option c matrix and option d is both a and c See, earthy or undesired materials with which is associated with ore, we call it as a gang. We call it as gang and matrix. And the question number twenty is which of the following metals cannot be extracted using smelting? First of all, you should know what is smelting. Smelting means it is the extraction of metals from its ore by a process. It involves heating and melting. Okay, heating and melting we call it as a smelting. And the options here are iron. is the a option b option is aluminium option c is a zinc and option d is a lead correct option is option b aluminium aluminium is a metal it cannot be extracted by smelting question number 21 in general the number of electrons in the outermost shell of a metal atom is see metal you have to think the metal starts from the atomic number 3 because atomic number 1 is hydrogen atomic number 2 is helium and number 3 is lithium so lithium has three minimum electrons okay option b is correct answer 1 to 3 okay and question number 22 aluminium is used for making the cooking utensils which of the following property of aluminium are responsible for the same and some of the options here in the question are good thermal conductivity good electrical conductivity ductility high high melting point and the options are option a is 1 and 2 option b is 1 and 3 option c is 2 and 3 option d is 1 and 4 and the correct option is option d 1 and 4 that means aluminium is used for making the cooking utensils because it is having good thermal conductivity and it also having high melting point question number 20 question number 23 is two statements are made 
Here statement A is zinc is used in the galvanization of iron. Statement B, its coating on iron articles increases the life of it by protecting it from rusting. So here which statement is correct you have to identify. Statement A is correct only. Option B is statement B is correct only. Option C is both statement A and B are correct. Option D both statement A and B are incorrect. Both statement A and statement B are correct. So option C is correct. 25th question is hematite is an ore of option A iron, option B aluminium, option C copper and option D tin. And the correct answer is option A iron because, because hematite is a heavy and hard oxide mineral. Okay. So it is also called as ferric oxide that constitute most of the important iron ore. Okay. So that is why iron is the correct answer. Next question number 26. Metals are refined by using different methods. Which of the following metals are refined by electrolytic refining? Here there are two answers. See options are like this option A is gold, option B is copper, option C is sodium and option D is potassium. See through electrolytic refining sodium and potassium metals will be, sodium and potassium metals will be refined because they are highly reactive metal. Okay. Question number 27. Copper sulfate solution can be easily kept in container made up of option A lead, option B zinc, option C silver, option D aluminium. You should also know the reason why silver because silver is less reactive than copper that is why copper sulfate solution can be easily kept in a silver container. Next and the next question is which of the following is incorrect. Option A zinc oxide is called as amphoteric oxide. Option B silicon count among metalloids. Option C sodium is kept in open air and option D metal conducts electricity. So among these sodium is kept in the open air is incorrect because sodium is highly reactive metal. It will react with the oxygen to catch fire. So we always keep sodium under the kerosene. So that is why it is incorrect statement. So question number 30 which metal can be displaced by copper from its salt solution and the options are option A silver, option B zinc, option C iron. Correct answer is zinc can displace copper from its salt solution. Okay, so remaining question number 31 to question number 70, I will continue in the next video. Hope you found this video useful. If you find this video is useful, kindly forward these MCQ questions to your friends. And thank you so much for watching my video.